So we're cooking today, not human food and not drugs either. We're cooking bee candy for the bees today. For that we need five pounds of sugar, which equals ten cups. We need one bottle, sixteen ounces of light corn syrup. We need one and a third cup of hot water. We need a pot large enough to cook it in. And we do need a candy thermometer so we can see what our temperature is. Okay, so you can see the water is boiling now. And now I'm going to add the sugar a couple cu cups at a time. Let's do this. It will look for fun. Now you're not using the candy thermometer now. Um, it starts slowly really registering as it gets hot. And uh, as you can see, we have about 125 degrees. Okay. And we need to go up all the way to 242 degrees. Okay. So we're not just dissolving sugar like you do with water, you'll be actually making a candy. And it will get very hot. And sweet. Awful sweet. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes, five pounds of sugar. So now I have to constantly stir it until we get up to the full heat which will take a while. Alright, when do you add the uh, corn syrup? Um, the corn syrup is going to be much later, it's never going to come in this pot. So we're going to bring this up to 242 and then we let it cool down to 180. Okay, I switched to heavy duty kitchen gloves because boiling candy is uh, very very hot. As you can see we have reached about 220 degrees right now. We still have a little bit to go. And as you can see, the consistency is changing to a creamy consistency now. This is called a soft candy stage. So I have reached the right temperature, and it looks like a drying up paste. Now, I've been, now I had to take the thermometer out, the little holder was collapsing on me. Now I let this whole thing. Um, we do this down to 180 degrees, and then we add the corn syrup. Right, so where's we put the thermometer back in? I'm going to check occasionally this other um, instant thermometer. Okay. Okay, it's still pretty hot, but I'm transferring it to my stand-up mixer because it's easier to there was a corn syrup in my hand because as you can see it turns up pretty good and makes a, makes a little bit harder to do by hand. Okay, so I just put the 16 ounces of light corn syrup on it. Using it. And I use a, the dough hook in my machine. It's used for bread making. This is a heavy dough, so you really need something very strong. And you want to wait until it reaches 180 degrees. Um, usually when you transfer 200 degrees, just to transfer to another bowl cools it down enough that you can go ahead with the next step. And the reason why you want this to be 180, 
so the corn syrup doesn't disintegrate. Apparently it's supposed to release some bad chemicals. I don't know about that, but that's what a lot of people say. Okay, so we slowly put it in. And slowly start mixing it. And this is going to take about a long while to cool down. Okay, so this is what it looks like after mixing in the stand-up mixer. And it is still hot. And um, I have lined a, a cookie sheet, actually a deep one, a cookie pan, with parchment paper. Um, that way the sugar, once it gets hard, will not stick to the pan. Can and you use wax paper? I wouldn't use wax paper because the sugar is still very hot and it will melt the surface. So parchment paper is the best you can do. So now we're going to pour it in there. As you can see, Paul is using gloves and he's doing the heavy lifting because he's holding good. a five pound ball, uh, hot. It's, <laughs> it's not that easy. As you can see, we scratch everything out and bring that all in. I'm going to turn the camera off now so we can finish this task here. Okay, so here's our pan. It's uh, actually, let's see the size is 13 by 9. You can see how deep it is. I have it on the cooling rack. It's still a little bit warm on the bottom. And as you can see when I press, it's still a little bit soft to the touch, but that's what you want. Um, now the question is, why do we do candy board over liquid feed? Well, in winter you have a lot of moisture content in the hive and you want to avoid more moisture. The candy board, this whole thing, has only one cup of moisture in it compared to the other feeder which has a lot more. Here we kind of mix uh, five pounds of sugar in one cup of water. Under normal circumstances, you do a one to one ratio. This is a one to ten ratio. And so I have scored a little bit, and uh, see how sticky it is? I scored a little bit, and later on I will cut it with a knife apart and I will leave it on the parchment paper. And uh, the parchment paper can go as is into the hive. You can put it on top of the um, on the top of the frames, the heat will keep it warm so the bees can access it. Um, for that you will have to put like a wooden frame outside around it. Um, a 1 by 2 frame built which should work. Or you put a top hive feeder on it which I have where I will just put the whole slabs in. Um, this is enough for two hives. Should be enough feed to feed them about 3 to 4 weeks. It would look really wet. It is wet, but... You have a hard, bad, bad weather. No, it's not that hard, is it? Alright, so we're looking at the top high fever. We feed her. Okay, and here's our candy board. It's a little on the soft side. Alright, kind of brush the bees out of the way. Just slide it on top. We do have a top high feeder. There's a protein patties here. Ugh. I mean, they're in it, they're eating it. So they're mm. probably doing something up downstairs. Besides pissing them off. Alright. Put it back on. 